right now it's breezy. It's super 25 mile per hour wind gust out there right now. So the feels like temperature. 24 degrees. Oh my! Mm. And you know the water yeah. because it was icy. It's oh, right. be brutal. Below freezing. <laughs> oh, I hope we, hope we find something warm <laughs> right. over the next couple of minutes here. We don't want to be outside in temperatures like this. 24 degrees after a high yesterday of 64. Oh, the difference a day makes and a cold front that comes through. Now, this is our camera network through central Indiana. We have been monitoring this so closely to try to find any little peaks of sunshine. Looks like Tipton trying to clear out a little bit, perhaps maybe in Carmel, but still looking pretty cloudy and gloomy throughout the state. The good news is, looking at your satellite radar, we'll put a tracker on the back edge of that cloud cover up in northern Illinois. That's around 197 miles, so give it around six and a half hours, and we're going to be looking at clearing skies through central Indiana as well. So we'll hold on to the clouds and the upper 30s to get us to the rest of our Friday afternoon. We get into the evening today. Tonight. Temperatures will start to fall back near freezing around 33 degrees at 8 p.m. Still hanging on to a few scattered clouds if you're headed out and about on this Friday night. Certainly make sure to grab the heavier jacket. It's going to get cold later in the night. We'll pick up future track 13 at 10 o'clock this evening. We'll spend most of our overnight with mostly clear skies. We'll get into tomorrow morning and already our next weather system brings in clouds first. Looking like we'll have several dry hours before that rain actually gets here. We'll pause at 5 o'clock. Rain first moves into the western side of the state, eventually encompassing most of central Indiana. Watch the temperatures, though, as this rain starts to move in. After about 7 o'clock, we're looking at mainly a rain event here in Indianapolis, but you get north of the city, places like Kokomo and Marion, as the temp continues to drop. This could potentially change over into a snow-rain mixture. Because we're going to be just above freezing at the surface, I'm not anticipating much snow accumulations, probably just some slick spots from Marion down to Muncie, potentially as far south as Richmond. This is out of here through the overnight on Saturday. We'll get into our Sunday, and this is where conditions really improve for us Sunday as we're uh, looking at the potential more sunshine, warmer temperatures as well. So that snow threat coming through Saturday through a lot of 11 o'clock, getting into that potential of that snow mixture throughout northeast and central Indiana. When this moves out, we're going to be in good shape. But anything that's untreated could potentially become a little slick. Things like our driveways, back roads, stuff like that. So pay attention to that for your Saturday night. But the winner of the weekend, that's going to be our Sunday. More sunshine. Warmer temperatures, we get up to 50 as we wrap up our weekend. Through next week, again, if you like the warmer air, you're going to really like Monday, Tuesday, potentially even into Wednesday. High temperatures well above average in the 60s. Timing of this cold front on Wednesday will determine exactly how warm we get. Looks like we see our high earlier in the day, falling to around 45 degrees Wednesday afternoon. And then we still start to moderate back out Thursday with highs around 49.